So on today's show, we have Jack L. Jack L, of course, was in Navan there last week at the Spiegel tent. And I'm delighted to have him on the phone for an interview with the First Cut show here at Dundalk FM. Hello, Jack L. How are you doing? How are you? I'm absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. I'm not sure if you know too much about the show. The show itself, we feature a lot of national uh, Irish artists and unsigned artists in the area as well. So we're big promoters of the Irish music scene. And I happen to be at your wonderful opening night at the Navin Spiegel tent. And I have to say, you blew us all away. Yeah, it was a great night. Um, I mean, I mean, you obviously don't get a better setting than a, the Spiegel tent for doing a show. And I suppose with the way I perform, uh, it's quite audience interactive and uh it's 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 about in theater terms breaking down the fourth wall where the audience become part of the show so in that respect i mean the spiegel tent is perfect and it creates its own ambience because of its history and just visually it's so beautiful so yeah it was it was really it was, it was really a, a privilege to do the kind of grand opening and uh it was great to have a, 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 a kind of a sold out house. It was certainly you know. sold out. There was, it's a 300 capacity venue. Just for the listeners to get the idea of it, it's a bit like a 1920s, maybe it's, it could even be even 1900s style venue, wooden structure, a bit like a circus type tent, but theatrical element to it as well with all the kind of furnishings, very vintage. And you certainly uh, took a an amazing performance you you're a bit of a it's not just the music as well you're a performer and you really got into the audience and you certainly got them all going and yeah well, i think that's 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 i mean when i go to a show i like i like you know i like that to happen i love going to shows where people the audience are engaged uh you know it's easy to do this shoe gaze and kind of thing and not uh engage the audience but uh i think anyone that comes to the shows know that knows that it's bit of a knees up really. It certainly was. You had them all up dancing. You were going through the crowd with beautiful stars. I loved your cane. Is there any yeah. history with the cane? Uh, no, only that I, I, use, I lose them on a regular basis. I mean, the, <laughs> thing about, the thing about touring is that you just everything is transient. You, you're just losing stuff all the time. So things like canes get left behind just like an umbrella might. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm always having to buy new ones. And, and it's nice, people are always, you know, giving me gifts of canes and things. So I've had some lovely ones over the years, but God, they go to the same place that lighters and umbrellas go. <laughs> to, which, who knows where. Well, note to self, if ever I'm giving Jack L a gift, it'll be a, a cane. Um, we have to mention the band. The band are fantastic. Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's, a, it's a great lineup. A lot of the guys I've been playing with for years. Um, You've got uh, Derry Cronin is kind of the musical director. He he looks after the keyboards and uh, well, he does a lot of the scores for when we have the bigger shows as well. Uh, the amazing Connor Brady on guitar, Jonathan Berkeley on upright bass and straight bass, and uh, the wonderful Connor Donaldson on the drums. So yeah, we've we've uh, we've been playing together for quite a while over the years. So we have it um, we have it pretty down. You know, we can kind of almost read each other's musical minds. Because there's a lot of, uh, if you see the show, there's a lot of um, fair bit of improvisation. Where, well, uh, yes, absolutely, and it works, and and even experimentation, I'm sure, along the way with your music. And this was a big project, of course, the Twenty Seven Club. Yeah, the Twenty Seven Club. We kicked it off last August. We did a ten night in Edinburgh, the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, which is a great place to kind of kick off a, a show. It kind of gives it an international platform. Uh, we're taking it back again now in August again this year. But, uh, yeah, we kicked it off last year and we went we came straight back and shot two nights uh, for a DVD and an album live in the National Concert Hall. So we released it and it went to number one and all that stuff. So it was really very successful. And after being to all around Europe and, and the States uh, playing the show. So it's uh, hopefully up for a PBS special in the States in November, which is wow. a public broadcast, uh, you know, to be broadcast and probably be touring more over there off that. So yeah, it's been very successful. I mean, obviously, uh, I do, I write my own songs, but every now and then, I'll oh do yes, you do. Like the 27 Club. So it's, it's a good, uh, it's a good way of, not only is it great fun, for, I have to say, it's just, I mean, all these guys are, are, are uh, heroes of mine, all the artists. So it's great to sing those songs, but it, it's also a great way of 
getting, you, you know, introducing you to new people who, yes. who mightn't get to you the, your own music. Well, like, I mean, the mu- just for the listeners' benefit, the 27 Club basically features artists that have gone before and great classic hits and, of course, with Jack L and the band taking mm. it into your own and making your own beautiful versions and I have to say even that added to the whole atmosphere of going to, I've been twice now I think I mentioned it to you on the night we we saw you up in RT studios with the wonderful Pat Kenny and you did orchestra, orchestra. Yeah, yes, great, yeah. absolutely fantastic and it, it's great to have everyone there listening to the to that music which is familiar with them but yes also your own music Jackal you have amazing music and I'm sure you've now gained a huge amount of new followers yeah well as I could say it, it adds to the it adds to uh, the people that uh, mightn't have caught you before they will come because of uh, just for people who don't know the 27 Club is the the long list of people who strangely all passed away at 27 and the list is Jim Morrison Janis Joplin right up to the modern age Amy Winehouse Kurt Cobain Brian Jones from the Rolling Stones it started in 1938 with the famous bluesman Robert Johnson there's so many people who just seen, who, who who died at 27. I don't know whether that's a kind of some kind of peak age where people uh, maybe are pushing the envelope too much. A lot of them died in car crashes as much as alcohol poisoning and drugs and stuff. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I, obviously I don't try to dwell too much on... It's more of a... The songs are eternal, is what I say to people. And, mm. you know, for the, for, to be able to sing Jimi Hendrix songs or Doors songs uh, or even Nirvana songs, it, it's such a challenge. So yeah. uh, it's been a great buzz uh, trying to tackle, which in some respect is uh, our generation's classical music, you know. Yes, it, it, yes. It, it, it's, it, they're the great works and the great poems. And, uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a buzz and a half. Well, listen, I want to thank you very much for joining us on Dundalk of M. I'm sure you've got loads of gigs coming up. I'm just checking your wonderful website, which is www.jacklukeman.com and every single thing you want to know about Jack L is on your website. A great website. Not everything, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, next up I see is the 28th, which is next weekend in June. It's the Day Tripper Festival in Waterford. Yeah, uh, we've got loads of great festivals around the Westport Festival. We certainly have. Uh, the Kilrudery Festival. Um, Westport's lots, lots there. The Amelda May and people like that. So, yeah. yeah too. So, you have a great busy summer ahead of you, and I'm sure you're heading off internationally as well. We really are so grateful for your time, um, and we hope to hear more from Jack L. Well, thank you very much for having me. All the best. This one's called Open Your Borders from an album called Broken Song. got these days are dirty thoughts I need to find someone to help me clean them up time will take its toll on a homeless soul you become love's refugee so open your borders and let me in I don't want to Climb no barbed wire or battlements. Open your borders. Just give the order. Open your borders and let me in. Summer days. Gotta take a chance, you gotta get up and dance. You know the song. So open your borders and let me in. No need for martyrs or patriots. Open your borders, just give the
Cause I 